And if, if, if all of that wasn't enough, Alan Carr is with me all morning as a special Valentine's treat. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, love. How are you? You must be sweating in that chunky knit. Listen, can I just tell you something? Literally two <laughs> minutes ago, I said, can you turn on some aircon? I am plotting. <laughs> So you see, I'm an interior design master. I can tell. I can tell now. I'm, I can just see it. So you know, you know things. You know things. So look, <laughs> Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day, as you can see, la la la. Um, what will you be up to? Well, mainly sorting out the paper cuts on my fingers where I've opened up all the cards. Well, of course, it must be a nightmare for you. I feel <laughs> I so sorry. And the postman would be sad. I know, oh, I that, know. That it's down the drive. <laughs> it's such a shame, isn't it? But will you just be doing what all of us are doing and, and, and staying in? What, yeah, yeah, we can't we go anywhere, can we? But what else can we do? You're right, love. You can't really. I mean, I know a lot of our favourite restaurants and, and places and locals can deliver stuff, so that's quite good. But you know what? You can give presents that don't cost anything for Valentine's Day if you get my drift. Are you being dirty again, Lorraine? No! <laughs> no, I'm just saying <laughs> that actually that's maybe a nice thing. And I think everybody's yeah. going to be. I think everybody will be at it. Like rabbits this weekend, don't you? <laughs> Oh, it's turned into naked attraction. This isn't <laughs> Lorraine I know and love. <laughs> it's you. It's your influence on me. It definitely is. So, look, you are so busy. You're, you know, and it's good that you've been able to do all of these great things. We're going to be talking to you about designing, you know, home designing, which I know is something that you have suddenly become very expert in. In fact, you were even... <laughs> yes. Yeah, somebody even sort of thought that you were a designer, didn't they? Oh, yes, on the one show, yeah. Priyanka, yeah, Priyanka? she said, oh, um, I think she got the wrong end of the stick and she said, can I just say thank you, Alan, for all you've done for the design community? And then I just did that British thing and I went, oh, you're fine, <laughs> don't worry. It's fine. Of course, of course, of course. And we've got so much to talk to you about because I, I love this podcast you've got, which is all about travel. And then I know some people would say, well, why are we doing a travel pro podcast when nobody can travel? But that's exactly why. So that we can remember and look forward and all of that, isn't it? Yeah, it's completely escapist. It's called Life's a Beach. And you know what, Lorraine? I've done about 16 series of Chatty Man. And we've all had a good time to think during the pandemic. Yeah. And I thought, you know what? I really miss it. And I really love chatting. And I thought, what do I really miss? holidays travel so I combined the two and I spoke to some of my friends and all via zoom and everything you know Michael McIntyre Robbie Williams Rufus Lovely. Wainwright Jesse Ware and uh, Tom Allen and everything and we and it's not like a gloating podcast about no. you know oh don't you hate it when you you know your mega yacht can't find a space yeah. you know in the harbour at Saint Tropez it's about those <laughs> early holidays well, you know caravanning we, yeah. great yama Things Real, that we miss. You know, things that we really miss. Love. Well, look, stay there, yeah. have a cup of tea, because I'm going to talk to you loads about this and many other things. Many other things. Thank you, gorgeous Alan. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. When you were um, watching that, what do you think of Andy's little cave? Oh, dear. <laughs> not very... <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, Andy. Rude. It's beautiful. No. I love the colours. I love the design. <laughs> It's, it's all right, Andy, Stop it's laughing. fine. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. Now look, all my own work, Lorraine. All his own, and I know you put your heart and soul work. into it. You do. Now, look, Alan has been keeping our spirits up in lockdown with his new podcast, Life's a Beach, sharing holiday memories with his famous pals, and he's also on telly showing his more serious side on interior design matters. Alan joins me now. That looks great fun. Really, really good fun. Um, and we, we all love seeing, you know, transformations and all of that. Did you enjoy it? I really loved it and it's perfect telly for lockdown. Now I feel really embarrassed. I'm talking about interior design and I've come down to my shed where it has a better Wi-Fi connection and I've got Alan Carr wallpaper. 
it's all right. I think it's good. I think it'll catch on. I think it's a whole new revenue stream for you. Absolutely. And, but it's good because we're, we're all stuck at home and it's good to see. And I think a lot of us are doing a lot more DIY and a lot more looking around at, at our houses and thinking, oh, so this is great. We can take tips from it. Maybe not like that that we just saw. That was full on, wasn't it? But little bits and bobs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, awful at DIY I mean I see a shelf going up or a wardrobe being assembled and it's like black magic I don't know how it happens but I mean I can pump up a cushion I can light a candle that's as far as I go exactly exactly but that's all right because it works <laughs> now as well as that we were talking earlier on weren't we about the the podcast you're doing about travel um, and it's it's lovely because it's people just talking about where they've been you know experiences they've had sharing tips when the world opens up again it's such a good idea yeah, I know. And like I said, I miss chatting. And, you know, it's one of those muscles I don't use anymore. And so, like I said, I rang up some friends and I said, let's chat. And like people, you know, someone said, oh, you know, is it the right time to do it? But I said, listen, it's escapism. Yeah. And it's not gloating or anything. There's full of tips there. I want to know what Robbie Williams packs in his case when he goes away. I want to know who's had a holiday romance. Who's got off with the waiter and regretted it the next day? <laughs> That's what I kind of like. I love that kind of gossip. Well, exactly. As well as finding out about where the travel is. Now, what's your favourite place to go? Where, If I could wave my wand, my magic wand, and I could go bing, and you could go somewhere, where would it be? Italy, you can't go wrong with Italy. Hey. Fit people, fit food, fit countryside and gorgeous wine. What more do you want? That's my ideal holiday. Oh, I could, just, I could just go there now. Now, talking about wonderful things, as we were, didn't we have a great time on RuPaul's Drag Race? Wasn't it the best? Oh, <laughs> oh it was like we were on a school trip, weren't it? It was. And listen, um, Graham Norton said this, it, and... It is like a religious experience because, Lorraine, you, we, we don't meet him before, do nope. we? We don't have a, a cup of tea and a custard mm -hmm. cream and have a giggle. We sit at the room, the lights go, da, 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 uh, and he comes bar, out, Lawrence, and she worked, comes out, and you're like, really wow. Isn't I it? Have... It's stunning, isn't it? It's just amazing. I mean, you know you watch it on the telly and you sit there at home just going, wow, there's Rue. That's not Rue. <laughs> and it is, it is astonishing, absolutely astonishing. Now, I'm, I know I'm probably being a bit biased, but I did, did love the two Scottish queens. Absolutely loved them. Oh, That's Lawrence Cheney, as, as Rue always calls yeah. her. And Ellie Diamond, of course, from Dundee. Absolutely Fantastic. terrific. I mean, really, Ellie's only 21. I know, what a future she's got in drag. I mean, wasn't it amazing? You were so giddy though, Lorraine. I'd never seen you. You were like, I thought you were going to wet yourself at one point. You were just like so excited. It, it was almost. <laughs> it, was, it was very close. <laughs> I, honestly, it was just, you know that way when you love a show so, so much and yeah. then you've crawled inside your television and you're in it. It's like, it's like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. You're just so beside yourself. Yeah. And we've all been stuck in, and it's just what the doctor ordered, isn't it? I just needed a bit of sequins, a bit of tinsel, a bit of glitter. And boy, does it deliver. Oh, it's so much fun. But then I was saying to Graham Norton, I was saying, you know, I, I'm finding things to wear for the runway when I come down. What is the point? We're standing next to Rue. Her yeah. shoulder pads are bigger, are wider than me. No one's even looking at what I'm wearing. You know, she's such an outfit. Amazon, you I know. love that outfit. Uh, and a beautiful, glamorous, gorgeous, gorgeous human being. Love her, love her. Now look, you were on The Masked Singer as well. You get about, don't you? You were on The Masked Singer. Um, uh, who, can, you can you give us a clue about who that sausage might be or who do you think it's going to be? Oh. can't believe I'm asking you about I, sausages. I, I know, I sit there thinking all day about who that sausage is. Um, do you know what? Doing that show is amazing. It's like, have you ever had loads of cheese and then fallen asleep? It's like that, isn't it? It's like a cheese tree. And, and, and um, I, when they asked me to be on the panel, I, I was like, I, I couldn't believe it. But then I was watching it. I know Martine McCutcheon. And she took her head off and she was the swan. I know. And I rang her up and I said, you never told me you were the exactly. swan. Exactly. Well, Alan... Always a joy talking to you, my angel. Thank Aww. you so much for everything. I can't wait to listen to the podcast. Thank you, love. 
Thank you, love. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.